Hi there. In this video, I'm going to create a look using my friend Ruby Hammer's magnetic brushes. This is great, isn't it? Fits right into a makeup bag. Whether you're a professional or just a makeup enthusiast, everyone needs products and brushes that don't take up much space. So with these little three brushes, I can do everything on eyes or on lips and everything clicks back together clever, cleverly. You can hear that little magnetic click, which is such a good sound. So first off, this little brush, I'm going to use with my Peach Eye Delight, dip the brush straight into the little hole. Now I'm using this for eyeshadow, but you could use it for concealer if you wanted. You could use it for lips if you wanted. So don't feel, just because I'm using it like this, that you need to do the same. That's just not necessary. You use the brushes exactly how you want. So there's two, two sizes of eyeshadow brush. That little one I've just used. And then the next one, slightly bigger, equally as soft. These are super soft. And I'm taking an eyeshadow of mine called Cedar. That's a matte, taupey camel color. And I'm just applying this to the socket to give a little bit more depth. And it contrasts really well to the peach loose eyeshadow. Now, the great thing about these brushes are that they pick up just the right amount of product so you won't get spillage onto your cheek unless you use too much. This cedar color is fantastic. It's, it's a real makeup artist's color because it's a taupey mushroom that's really, really easy to use and suits everybody. Then I'm going to just run some of this. Got to use my other mirror now. Run some of this under the lower lashes just to give a soft smoky effect. Connect it to the outer edges. Because smoky eyes look great when they really are a little bit smudgy. And this helps me to get right into that socket so I can do that really nice cut crease. But equally, it lets me go under the eye to create a soft focus but defined eye look. If you want to bump up the look of your brows, then take Ruby's little eyebrow brush, pop it on my matte shadow. This one again is cedar, but if you have darker brows, then you will definitely want a shade called Tornado. This is it here. It's a really, another really useful makeup artist shade because it's a mousy gray brown and is fantastic for brows that are brown, sort of brunette brown, but with no red. This has a little bit of red in it, but it's not too red. It's more kind of a camely blonde honey color. But you see, this is great because it's got that short end, which lets me do a little bit more definition at the outer edge. And I gently work the shadow into the hair going backwards and forwards so I can get a little bit more of a precise brow finish. If you like using gel eyeliners, this would be great because you could do that gel eyeliner flick. And in fact, if I want a little bit more definition, I'm going to take this that I've just used for brows, same brush, take it closer, dip it into cedar, A little bit more there, just on the outer edges. You know, this is great. You keep this little eyeshadow and this brush in your handbag. You can go from day to play really easily. Day to night makeup, bump it up a little bit more. Now let me just take that little brush again. 
dip it into the Ida light and just pop a little bit more. I just want you to see how beautiful and pretty this is as it catches the light. I'm going to blend that in a sec. Creates a lovely glow. Now this is a peachy shade. Should I pop some on the brow bone? Just under to illuminate. As with all my products, what you get is a super fine finish. So you're not gonna get anything that is glittery or garish. This will not settle into fine lines. This is a wonderful neutral color, used as a highlighter on the brow bone, but on the lid as a real eye opener for a little pop of color. You can use it also here to catch the light. Use it for general contouring and well, use it for general highlighting. A little bit more here. Now in contrast to all that, I'm now going to create a little bit more definition on my eyes by using my green velvet waterproof pencil. Twist up, waterproof as I say, so they're fantastic here in the waterline. Just gently glide it all the way along from that inner corner. This is really a very lovely peacock green. So it's not an emerald green. It's got a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of turquoise. And they're super soft. I love these. Whenever I put this shade on anyone, I always get amazing feedback. So I'm just blending the pencil with the brush, mainly using the tip. And what you'll love about these pencils are, they really stay put. So I'm running the pencil underneath the lower lash line just to define the eyes and then put a little bit just on this outer corner. The lovely thing about these pencils are they're super, super soft, but they really stay put and they really are waterproof. A beautiful green suits absolutely every single color of eye. And green gets a bit of a bum deal, unfortunately, because not everybody likes it, but I absolutely love green, and especially this one, because I say it's got a little bit of turquoise in it. And then to finish off the look, let me just grab a mascara. So I'm just applying a bit of mascara. Believe me, it is a little bit of mascara, but my lashes look particularly insane today. I think because they're contrasting against that color on the lid that's very pale and shimmery. It's kind of like a beautiful peachy nude color. And I think so the black mascara is really making my lashes stand out. 
but I don't want to put any black on the green lower lash area. I want to keep that nice and green. So I've got a two-tone effect going on. So the eyes are virtually finished and just with a handful of products, I've created a very lovely daytime or evening look for eyes. And then just to keep my brows nice and bushy, keep them in place, I'm using my brow fix. Look how tiny that little brush is. It's colorless. And it will just help to keep those brows in place. So there we go. There's a look using a little bit of Daniel Sandler and some Ruby Hammer. Thanks for watching.